In these mixed practice questions, you're going to be answering exactly the same questions as in the previous skill, but this time you're not going to be provided with the work table to find the molar mass, and you're not going to be provided with the conversion table. You're gonna to have to do those parts yourself. So in this question, we have 8.63 moles of magnesium chromate, which has a formula MgCrO4. Our first step will be finding the molar mass of magnesium chromate, and our second step will be finding the mass of the sample. So let's go to our periodic table. And we've got magnesium here. We've got chromium here. And we've got oxygen here. And their relative atomic mass is the number at the bottom of the square. So we've got 24.31 for magnesium, 52.00 for chromium, and 16.00 for oxygen. So for magnesium, we've got 24.31 grams per mole. For chromium, we've got 52.00 grams per mole. And for oxygen, we have 16.00 grams per mole. Those are our molar masses for each of those elements individually. Now we have MgCr04. So that means we have one Mg, one Cr, and four oxygens in our compound. So let's multiply those out. That gets 24.31 grams per mole of magnesium, 52.00 grams per mole of chromium, and for oxygen we've got four multiples of that. So that gives us 64.00 grams per mole of oxygen. So that's the molar mass of each of my elements in the compound. Finally, I need to add those together. That gives me a molar mass of 140.31 grams per mole overall for my compound. So let's fill that in, 140.31 grams per mole for magnesium chromate. Awesome, okay. So now we've got the molar mass We've got the number of moles, we're trying to find the mass. Now remember, the molar mass we found, which was 140.31 grams per mole, what that means is that 140.31 grams of MgCrO4 is equal to one mole of MgCrO4. So that's what our molar mass tells us. So we can go ahead and use that now in our conversion table. So we're starting with the moles. We've got 8.63 moles. And we're converting that into mass. So we want to cancel out the moles. So we're going to have moles on the bottom. We want to end up with mass. So we're going to have grams on the top. And then we need to put in our numbers so the top and bottom of the fraction are equal according to our conversion factor. So from our conversion factor, we have one mole is equal to 140.31 grams. Now all we need to do is multiply everything on the top, divide by everything on the bottom, and cancel out units that are the same top and bottom, which are moles. So that gives us 8.63 multiplied by 140.31 divided by one grams. So when we put that all in our calculator, we get an answer of 1,211 grams. Let's check that answer. Wonderful. So you can see here, again, exactly the same steps as the previous question that we've done in the previous skill, but you're not provided with those tables. You've got to do that working out yourself. If you think you need more practice before you try these, go back to the previous skill and try the extra practice there to make sure you're really confident before trying these ones that have less scaffolding.